Barack Obama's two-year winning streak has come to an end on Capitol Hill. A new U.S. Congress has been sworn in, and the Republicans now hold an overwhelming majority over the president's party. The House of Representatives sees the biggest split, with the Democrats outnumbered by 49 seats. They're barely clinging on to the Senate, with just a majority of three votes. The change in power follows the results of November's midterm elections. The Republicans had been trying to sink several of Obama's policies since then, including a nuclear arms reduction treaty with Russia, which was eventually ratified by the Senate late last month. But Professor Edmund Garib warns the treaty could still come under fire on Capitol Hill. There is uh, no doubt that uh, the uh, assumption of uh, the, the Republicans of power in the House of Representatives is going to complicate life for the administration. There is no doubt that the new Congress is going to try uh, to derail uh, a number of the uh, 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 laws and the policies uh, of the administration. One of them, of course, was going to be on the, uh, an effort to basically change uh, the health care law. Uh, there, some uh, may want to change the, also the uh, START agreement, uh, but I think it's going to be very difficult for them uh, to do so, primarily because you still have the Senate, and the Senate, although there are fewer Democrats, uh, the Democrats continue to hold the majority there. And even if, uh, and that's unlikely, uh, both the Senate and the House agree to take uh, a, a such stance to derail the president's plans. I think we, the president still has the veto authority, so that's going to make it uh, next to impossible to, to bring to change uh, the, the start law. And that was Professor Edmund.